wake up everybody no more sleeping in bed we need to develop something of our own that we control that we directly benefit from and offer to the world you understand because without it we're going to fail because you see here in america many people are learning that the so-called jobs have been taken away and sent somewhere else we're not manufacturing anything we're not producing anything so if we have nothing directly to offer to the world how are we going to keep money in our pocket if your job got rid of you right now what would many of us do we're pumped up on what the job gives us and when they snatch the job from under our feet we can't survive uh, I like eating well and living well under my own power and, and I don't like living under fear because fear is not from God. God did not bring you here to slave for anybody else. He did not bring you here to be disrespected and to give up your manhood just for a paycheck. You know, uh, I'm halfway there. I'm halfway there with your help. But I serve you. I serve the people. I serve my people. I serve my world. There are businesses that I have planned coming up. But I'm going to work so hard. And that's another thing. We have to be willing to work hard and sacrifice. I remember up in New York City, there's a Korean restaurant, I'm sorry, Korean uh, fruit market that the family set up. It was open 24 hours and it was only family uh, that worked there. And one night I was coming from the gym and I spoke with the young man that was there. He was reading the book, uh, two o'clock in the morning. And I spoke to him and I said, man, this business is, is really doing good. He says, yes, because we don't ask anything from this business any more than what we need. This is a family business. We came here, we worked on uh, 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 our own jobs from our own people, and then they helped us to get our own business. You understand? They helped us to get this business. Now, I'm in school, and I work here, and this place feeds me. This place, this place takes care of me. So it's a system that's going to serve people years from now behind me that are in Korea that are planning on coming here. So they had it all thought out. It wasn't as though, well, I'm going to trade off 20 or 25 years of my life on a job because they're making more from you than what you're getting. And I'll sit back old and just, you know, ride out for a little check. No, man, you can get all of that money that you've making all these decades ahead of you right now you don't have to ask anybody for two weeks off you can get up and go if you want to but it, it, it's an infectious feeling when you're doing your own thing and this is why I'm encouraging I don't care what it is everything in your house look around you okay I was online one time and I'll get back to the other story I was online one time and I saw this Japanese artist who made these little stickers with little sayings on them in, in Japanese and different languages. He's a millionaire just from that because these kids are buying these little stickers and putting it on their notebooks, their laptops, whatever. And you may think, oh, that's just a sticker. He's not making any money. But through the internet, reaching out to different places of business, it may be just a package or a few of them by the counter. But he's a millionaire off of that. And when you find your talent or ability, the world can come to you at your feet, but you have to be willing to serve them and come with a message and come with something different and come with something original. But back to what I was saying, this gentleman, he didn't take anything from the system that served him. It, it held him up to come here and get his education so he can go back now and become more powerful and, 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 and have somebody else come into the system and they keep coming and coming. And that little fruit market that was so humble that we say, oh, look at that little Korean man, he's nothing. You know, a, a package that this way and that way. Us with our, our Cadillacs outside and our, our Benzes and our Acuras outside pumped up in debt to somebody else. You understand? In debt to somebody else. Why this man is building something that is more powerful than you could even imagine. Another story. There's a, a Chinese restaurant in my old neighborhood up in New York City. Cam's Kitchen. Peace up for Cam's. A lot of people who love Cam's Kitchen's food. They're cool people. Chinese folks. Uh, they're still there, right on Liberty Avenue on 135th Street. Give my shout out to everybody who's out there, you know. But I don't know the guy's name, but it was the parents. They opened the joint. The kids worked there. They were right there in the hood. 
I believe one of them went on to be a doctor and, or maybe a lawyer. But here's a funny thing. They stayed humble. Because when the gentleman who used to be a kid serving the food in that takeout restaurant, getting yelled at by all the other pompous brothers and sisters of mine out there who didn't know what they were doing, he would come back to visit because I believe they lived upstairs above the restaurant and they kept it open uh, early till late. And it was only takeout. Well, he went and he came up in his night, very nice car, but he wasn't hung up on it. A little bigger, shaking everybody's hand. You know that guy went behind the counter and told his mother, go ahead and rest. Here he is as a doctor or a lawyer, whichever, but he, he attained his position in life, went to school and had lots of money. And he went back there and kept the ball rolling in that humble system that got him his foothold on life. So I say that to say this. You know, it's funny because he was taking orders. It was like old times. And I looked at that and I said, man, that's deep. What, what system do we have? What system do we have where we are not depending on somebody else? What do we have to offer the world? That's all I ask. And I'm going to end it right here. I got this little sketch that looks like nothing right now. But the symbolism in that, and I learned every time I draw a piece of artwork, a cartoon, whatever you want to call it, is that in the beginning it looks like nothing. You have to take time on it and have a vision on that blank piece of paper to make that blank piece of paper look like something so other people can see what it is. It takes time to develop. You have a child who may be doing bad in school. Take time and help to develop that child. You may have something in your home that needs to be fixed up. You can learn. You can get a book. You can take time to make your surroundings nice and beautiful so it keeps you strong in the world so that, you know, every day that you come home is like a vacation. You laugh at the outside world with their stress because when you come home, you've developed your home like a womb. Home and womb sound the same because a womb, when you're in your mother's stomach, keeps you warm, keeps you fed, and strengthens you for the stresses of the outside world. Just like a home should do. It should keep you warm, keep you fed, and keep you strong for the stresses of the outside world. I'm rambling today, but that's just the way I feel. And um, just woke up a little while ago, and this is how I wake up with a lot of enthusiasm. My thoughts are racing. But um, develop yourself, work on a talent, have something to offer the world, show a little unity, and maybe this time next year we'll have a lot more progress and we'll be able to look back on something concrete. Because the world, we can have heaven on earth. We can. I always say that term, but we can have it. It's up to us to, to be able to take the good and throw out the parts of it that's not good for us. Because there's a lot of poison out here in the world, but also there's a lot of potential good. But in 2010, I wish you all the best. This is Lance Skirvin, America's Outspoken Artist. I'm signing off because I'm going to go on a creative frenzy. Take care. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more back to thinking. Time for thinking ahead.